All right, YouTube, we are back at Academy and gonna go ahead and see what we can find. Um, not really looking for anything um, specific, just gonna see what they have, see if they have anything changed. I didn't come last week, so uh, I wanna see what they have. So let's go inside, stand by. All right, YouTube, here we are. Got some more nine millimeter. Always start from left to right. So same stuff. Some of this blazer for 1999, and prices are not going down. Of course, I got some more nine millimeter still stuff. 1899. Uh, Sierra. Sorry, this is 380. Damn, it's expensive. It can't be the right price. Not some kind of nine millimeter. Sorry, it's misplaced. I got some Sierra, no price on this. Got some of the Hornady Black, $33.99. Uh, expensive. Uh, critical Defense, $31.99. Expensive. <laughs> All right. Got some of this uh, 22 LR. Forty Smith & Wesson, $26.99. Uh, for Hornady Black, expensive. And that's pretty much gonna be the theme. Uh, $22.99 for this uh, box of 40. Uh, it's not too bad compared to some of the other prices. Uh, no price here on this 40, so I don't know if the price of that. It's uh, a 45 auto. All right, let's go up here to our top shelf. Got some of this. Um, Blazer, I think this is the aluminum case stuff, $17.99. Let's see what we got here. Got some 243 wind mag. And 300 blackout is pretty much everywhere. I don't know that brand, but as you can see, still got some of the uh, Hornady uh, black. I think people are leaving it on the shelves because it's so expensive. Uh, $24.99 for the American Eagle. 300 blackout Winchester, uh, the hot and rom, 150 grain, 34.99, very expensive. 24.99 for the run of the mill, 300 blackout, um, full metal jacket, 24.99. So prices are not going down. Got some 450 Bushmaster, uh, 29.99 for a box of 20. Um, 224 Valkyrie, 46.99. As we go down, get some six five Creed more. Uh, these prices are going up, <laughs> and that's all I can tell you. Up, 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 up. And then we got our 12 gauge. Oh, that's a number one buck here. So this is a good deal. So I'm gonna get some of this stuff. I'll probably get a few boxes of these. $13.99 for a box of 25, 20 gauge, number one buck. Been looking for that for quite a while, so I'll definitely uh, get some of that. No price on uh, this. This is three inch stuff, so same stuff for the most part. Uh, I've got some uh, buried loads down here. Uh, let's see if I see any 223556. No 762 by 39, believe it or not. Oh, yes, we do. I have uh, a few boxes right here. All right, so I'm going to get a few boxes and uh, we'll go to the round table and see what we got. Stand by. All right, YouTube, we are back and um, got my four boxes of ammo because we're still at a four box limit over at Academy. Last week, um, I did not go into Academy. I tried to go, but they were having reg registry issues and I didn't want to uh, sit in the parking lot at, you know, the whole time that they were waiting to get their register issues uh, panned out. Uh, but what they did is they gave us a 10% uh, off coupon. So that's why I splurged a little bit on this um, expensive Hornady stuff. If you guys are like, man, why'd you pay that price for that? Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I ended up getting some more of these um, 20 gauge number one buckshot, nine pellet. And these are a box of 25. These are $13.99 a box. Um, I did a pattern testing on this specific load um, about a year and some change ago. And I was very, very impressed, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. I haven't seen any since then, uh, but these are some good looking shells. Uh, the only thing I do not like is they're crimped a little bit higher than standard uh, two and three quarter shells. These are two and three quarter, but they are crimped so high that you are going to lose a round. No matter how you slice it, you will lose a round because they're crimped a little bit higher. 
Um, but this is some really, really good stuff, uh, in my opinion, uh, for what you get. And because 20 gauge doesn't have as many options, but for home defense, this is definitely a good option because nine pellets of, you know, number one buckshot, that's not too far from nine pellets of double lock buckshot. Because you have, you know, if you know the actual shot sizes, you'll know uh, why I say that. All right, so 13, you know, 13.99 for a box of 25, I'll, I'll take that. Now these are expensive. Again, I had a 10% off coupon, so guys, you know, cut me some slack. Uh, these were actually $33 um, a box, believe it or not. 124 grain um, Hornady Black, nine millimeter. Uh, this is uh, the XTP technology. Uh, some really good stuff. Um, I, you know, have a few boxes of it. You know, my, in all of my uh, guns, you know, it eats this uh, Hornady stuff without any issues. And I like Hornady. I like um, Spear Gold Dot. Um, Federal HST, you know, I like those brands. That's what I look for uh, when I try to get defensive ammo. But again, we were at four boxes, uh, four box limit uh, for the most part. Uh, the prices are still creeping up and that will not stop because we are still having uh, mass shootings. Looks like every week now, um, there was another mass shooting uh, in Tulsa. I don't know all the details. It appears that uh, uh, four people were murdered and the demon killed itself because I'm not going to call it a person because anyone that can go out and do a mass shooting uh, without disregard for human life, I do not call them a person. Let's call them a demon. And that demon um, was not happy with his life and should have just killed himself instead of others. But unfortunately, the world is unfair. Innocent people are getting killed all the time over and over again. Um, but what we'll do here is, um, you know, we'll keep those people in our hearts and uh, we'll go from there. Um, but again, continue to stay on this ammo. Uh, the prices are going to go up. And, you know, unfortunately, what's happening is not going to affect us positively uh, with these uh, mass shootings. Because, again, the far left politicians, Sleepy Joe and company are going to use this as bulletin board material for why we should not be able to arm ourselves so again continue to arm yourselves continue to get the ammo um, because i see in the horizon i see another panic coming really soon i'm on a real real big panic where everything is going to be gone and you know just like 2020 i just think we're going to be headed that direction again unfortunately i hate to be um debbie downer uh but things are not uh, going in the right direction uh from what i'm seeing out here um, but I, you know, like I said, that's a story for another day. We'll talk about that mass shooting at some other time once we get more information, because I want to just try to get more information before I even discuss these things anymore, because um, what happened to Uvalde, there was just so much misinformation out there about what the cops did and did not do, and then the story kept changing. So let's just get all the information uh, before we discuss this one. But continue to get your ammo, continue to get your magazines, continue to get your firearms, and um, just stay dangerous, man. Protect your family, keep your head on a swivel, um, because you're just not safe anywhere. You're not safe at a hospital. You're not safe at a church. You're not safe at school. You're not safe at a concert. You're not safe in a grocery store. You're not safe at a train station. You're not safe on a train, not on a bus. So keep your head on a swivel when you go into a restaurant. Uh, just try to sit in a position where you can see people come and go. You know, that's the best that we can do is be vigilant. But that's all I have, guys. We'll catch you in the next video. 2A up.